I'm not going to be a breadwinner for a housewife. My husband starts saying things that don't make any sense. Then he suddenly started packing my stuff. What are you doing? I'm going to ask you to leave this house until you feel sorry for what you've done. What? My name is Mary. I'm a 27 year old office worker. I got a job at a cosmetics company that I've always wanted to work for, and I was so happy that I devoted myself to work every day. Thanks to that, I got a high evaluation from my boss and was promoted. Considering my age, my salary is quite high. I have a husband, Tom, whom I have been married for a year. He's the same age as me, but he earns less. I don't really care about it, but apparently it's an issue for men. My husband doesn't talk about it, but when we talk about work, he immediately tries to change the subject. I guess whenever he talks about his job, the fact that his salary is lower than his wife's c o m e to his mind. He's always unmotivated by his work and says, I don't have such a great job. So I try not to talk about my work at home too much. But my husband does his share of the housework and he is good at cleaning and cooking. He has a gentle personality and we communicate well. So I think we get along well as a couple. But maybe I was the only one who thought so. One day, I wasn't feeling well. And had a bad nausea. I went to the hospital and found out I was pregnant. I immediately told my husband. My husband was overjoyed. I was also happy to see him so happy. I thought to myself, we're going to build a warm family. I took maternity leave about six weeks before the birth. It was my first childbirth, so I decided to take it easy and take my leave early. However, My husband's attitude started to change a little around this time. I'm home. Welcome home. You're lounging on the sofa again? You're so stress free, aren't you? My husband started with this tone. So I was surprised. Maybe he's just stressed out from work. That's all I thought at first. But day by day, his attitude toward me became colder and colder. Hey, Where is my food? Sorry, I'm not feeling well today, so I got some pre made stuff from the supermarket. Huh? You gotta be kidding me. You're serving supermarket pre made food to your husband when he comes home from work after a long day? He got so mad all of a sudden and reacted in such an unexpected way. I was in a poor condition and had neither the energy nor strength to argue with him. Then there were days when I felt so sick that I really couldn't do anything and couldn't even stand the smell of food. I sent a message to my husband explaining my condition and asked him to either cook the food himself or go out to eat. He didn't reply, but he seemed to have read the message, so I figured it was okay. I lay in bed and fell asleep for a few hours. When I woke up, it was midnight. And I got up to go to the bathroom. The light was on in the living room, and I could hear people talking. I went into the living room, and to my surprise, my husband had brought some of his colleagues from work with him. Oh, the selfish princess woke up! My husband's colleagues greeted me and said, Sorry to disturb you. I returned their greetings and quickly got my husband out of the living room and into the hallway. What's the matter with you suddenly? Why are you bringing people so late? Huh? I can do whatever I want. We went out for a drink, but we didn't have enough, so I brought them here. You do realize I'm pregnant? So what? I'm not making you do anything dangerous. But I'd like you to consider the stress on my mental health a little bit. Huh? You're getting a little carried away, aren't you? If you'd have cooked dinner, I wouldn't have had to go for a drink with them tonight. So you're the one responsible for my bringing them home. What an incomprehensive theory. If you have so much energy, make something to eat and serve it to everyone. I can't. I'm still sick. You're so selfish. Enough. 
You're ruining all the fun I'm having. Now go back to your bedroom and go back to sleep. With that, he went back into the living room. I can't do this anymore. I was so mad that I decided to go back to my parents' house. So I explained the situation to my current obstetrician and asked if I could give birth back at home. As luck would have it, she knew an obstetrician near my parents' house and wrote me a letter of introduction right away. I left a note on the table saying, I'm going home for a while to give birth. Sure enough, I got a lot of phone calls and messages from my husband, but I ignored them. After about a week, I received his message saying, I'm sorry, you can go home and rest before the birth. I still hadn't forgiven him, but I was relieved to hear that he was finally feeling sorry. So I took a rest at my parents' house until the birth. Thanks to that, I felt much better, the nausea went away, and my appetite was back. After that, I gave birth to a healthy baby girl. My parents were overjoyed at the birth of their granddaughter. My husband also came to the hospital. My husband was so happy to hold our daughter in his arms, saying, She's so cute. He also expressed his concern for my health. I thought my husband was back to his old gentle self. After the birth, I stayed at my parents' house for about two weeks and then returned to the house where I lived with my husband. My husband happily fed our daughter when he came back from work. In the beginning, he actively helped me raise our daughter by changing her diapers and bathing her. He was very cooperative and very helpful. I felt relieved that my husband and I would be able to live together harmoniously again. However, my husband's attitude started to change again about two months after the birth. It was probably caused by our daughter's crying at night. My daughter, who had been sleeping quietly up until then, began to cry more and more at night. Because of this, my husband and I were often woken up in the middle of the night. My husband was getting more and more stressed out because of the reduced sleeping hours, and he became less helpful with raising the child. He even said, I'll sleep on the couch, and left everything to me at the end. He also started coming home late from work. This made me distrustful with my husband again. Once I saw him that way, I started to notice many things about him. I began to complain that he should be more cooperative in raising our child. My husband seemed to be stressed out about it, and one day he said something outrageous. Who do you think is providing for you? What? It's thanks to me that you're able to live comfortably while not working. Have more respect for your husband. What on earth is he talking about? Of course, I'm grateful that you were proactive in raising our child in the beginning. But lately, when our daughter cries, you don't even care. And instead just say, Hey, she's crying. No, I'm not talking about such a silly thing. Huh? What's silly? I'm the boss in this house, and you're disrespectful towards me. I really don't know what you're talking about. I'm the one who brings the money here, so you're going to have to look up to me. I'm not going to be a breadwinner for a housewife. My husband started saying things that don't make any sense. Then he suddenly started packing my stuff. What are you doing? I'm going to ask you to leave this house until you feel sorry for what you've done. He randomly stuffed my clothes into a bag and tried to kick me out. I said... Okay, I'll leave, so let me pack my things by myself. And I refolded the clothes and packed them in my bag. I finished packing and held my daughter in my arms. Then he threw my bags out the front door. Come back when you've had time to think about what you've done. With that, he locked the front door. I had no choice but to go back to my parents' house. After leaving my daughter in my mother's care, I went to the city office to pick up the divorce papers. The next day, I returned to my husband's house and rang the doorbell. Oh, you're home already? I guess you realize that you can't be without me after all. I just need you to show me that you're sorry. 
I'll forgive you if you get down on your knees. My husband grinned as he said this. I ignored my husband's words, took the divorce papers out of my bag, and thrust them towards him. What? Divorce papers? Why? I thought you said you were sorry. After all the horrible things you said to me, I have nothing to be sorry for. I didn't do anything wrong. I can't stay married to you anymore. My husband was clearly upset because he didn't think I would do this. And then he said something else that made no sense. But you're okay with it? It's going to be hard for you to be a single mother, isn't it? You don't even have a job. You won't be able to support your daughter. What have you been saying all this time? I didn't lose my job. What? You've been home all this time. I thought you quit your job because you got pregnant. Oh, I see. So that's what he thought. Who said I quit my job? I'm just taking maternity and childcare leave. What? My husband apparently thought that women quit their jobs after giving birth. Oh no, I thought you became a stay at home wife. Oh, I see. So you wanted to show that you were in a better position than me. My husband's face turned pale in a shock. In short, he was a proud man to begin with. When we both worked, I had a higher income than him, and he always had an issue about it. I guess that's why he automatically assumed that I quit my job instead of being on a leave. I was thoroughly disgusted with this man. Husbands and wives are always equal, right? I'm tired of being treated this way because of your inferiority complex. I told him I didn't care who made more money. My husband finally understood what he had done. He cried and begged me, I'm sorry, please don't divorce me. But it was too late. I asked him to fill out the divorce papers and left the house. After that, we talked with lawyers and the divorce was finalized. I had recorded my ex husband's verbal abuse just in case. So I was able to use that as evidence and was able to get him to pay alimony for the harassment. Also, my ex husband couldn't pay the rent of the apartment we used to live with his salary alone, so he moved to a cheaper apartment. Incidentally, when he brought his colleagues home before, they didn't know I was pregnant. When they saw my belly, they were all freaked out. After that, my ex husband and I got divorced, and there were rumors in the company that he had been dumped by his wife. My ex husband must be feeling very ashamed. He totally deserves it. I, on the other hand, took maternity leave and went back to work. Now I'm living at home with my parents and working hard while they support me in raising my child. My marriage didn't work out, but I'm happier than ever thanks to the work I love and the smile on my daughter's face. I will continue to devote myself to my work and watch my daughter grow up.